I'm Elise Bland. I'm 13 years old. I was born and raised in Hong Kong, but I'm a true Canadian. <laughs> Today I'd like to talk to you about one of my passions, ice hockey, and I hope to inspire in you a passion. First off, let me get to know you a little better. How many of you have ever played hockey? On ice. Great. Now, this might be a little bit of a stretch, but are there any Toronto Maple Leaf fans in the crowd? Yeah. OK, yeah, I'm not the only one who's a fan of a team that hasn't won the Stanley Cup in like five decades. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the game, as some people call it, though it really is so much more than that, it was first documented in Montreal in 1875. The NHL started with teams that are now known as the original six. In the NHL today, there are 30 teams. Can anyone care to guess what the original hockey puck was made from? Frozen cow poop. <laughs> yep, pretty gross. When I go to Canada for the summer and participate in local hockey camps, people are often shocked to find out that I live and play ice hockey in Hong Kong. Hong Kong has ice, they ask? It does indeed. We have four ranks. Did I mention they're in shopping malls? <laughs> Hockey is alive, well, and growing in Hong Kong for both men, women, and children. My first coach, Barry Beck, former NHL New York Rangers captain, has been a big inspiration to me. And he, he and his team continue to inspire Hong Kong youth to the game. My current coach, Angie Tan, former captain of the China women's hockey team, is also an inspiration. She's a role model for women in the sport. Now that I've told you a little bit about hockey in Hong Kong, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the game. There are two teams, us and them. <laughs> Each team has five skaters on ice with sticks, a goalie and a puck, or poop if you prefer. The objective? Wilts to win. Simple, right? Coach Henry would always say that when I was about to score, I had a fire in my eyes, and he knew that I was determined to put the biscuits in the barrel. Let's talk about how to put that biscuit in the barrel. There's four shots in hockey. The shovel shot, the wrist shot, the snap shot, and then there's the crowd favorite, the slap shot. Why is the crowd favorite, the crowd asks? <laughs> it's hard, it's powerful, and yes, it's difficult to control. Back in the day, the fastest slap shot was by Bobby Hull. The current record holder is Zendeo Chara, who shot an unbelievable 108.8 mile per hour shot. He is considered a monster on ice. He is seven feet tall on skates, and weighs 255 pounds. Unlike my brother Elliot here, who seems to have snuck in, <laughs> Elliot stands on just under five feet on skates and weighs like 80, 85 pounds. Scientists have attempted to describe the physics of a slap shot using complex formulas and Newton's laws of motion. But you guys look pretty smart, so I won't bore you. Elliot, why don't you just show us how to take a slap shot? Whoa! <laughs> the crowd doesn't have masks. This is a powerful shot we're talking about. Good point. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Elliot. Now you might be wondering why a nice girl like myself would be playing hockey. Well, it's all about connection and competition. Hockey requires all sorts of individual skills. Shooting, skating, stick handling, and my favorite, body checking. <laughs> it connects me to myself, and I get to find out what I'm capable of. Hockey also connects me to my team. 
Hockey inspires me to work with others. Oh sure, there are just moments where it's just the player versus the goalie, but that doesn't happen without the hard work of the team. There are very few goals that are unassisted. It also connects me, the last thing hockey connects me to is the roar and thunder of the fans. When played well, hockey excites the masses. I mean, hearing your name cheered out, now that's what I call inspiration. To develop myself as a player, hockey demands that I push myself. Last season, I was the only girl on a competitive hockey team. I'm not the best player or shooter, but that's okay. I've left my mark. My teammates don't call me the elbow for nothing. <laughs> as a defensewoman, I've spent my fair share of time in the penalty box. I've been on teams where we've won it all and taken home the cup, and others where we didn't win a game all season. Oh sure, we were always in it to win it, and boy did we try. But in hockey, someone always has to lose. I'm okay with that. Well, as long as it's not me. <laughs> I've learned that the real winners are the ones who learn to take it on the chin and get on with it. Hockey is more than a game. It's a drama, and you write your own script. My most vivid memory was the night of our league championship. We had dominated the season, and this, this was our final game. We thought we had it in the bag, but boy was I wrong. It was third period, two minutes to go, and we were down two goals. We couldn't get it together, and it wasn't looking good but we never gave up on our hope and effort to win. And then, it paid off. Elliot scored! <laughs> the fans went wild and started to cheer, just one more, just one more. Then, Max scored! The fans chanted even louder, just one more, just one more. Just one more! Then, believe it or not, the team pulled it together, passed it to Oscar, and Oscar put it in the net. In seconds, we were league champions. Hockey's all about connection. Why is hockey a game changer for me? Well, because when I make contact with the puck, I make contact with myself, my team, and my crowd. In the process of it, I also make contact with my passion and my heritage. Now, it might not be hockey, but think about it. What does it for you? What are you connected to? What's your passion? Don't let some bench hold you down. Out there, somewhere, there's a crowd of fans waiting to cheer you on. Thank you.